Hello and welcome to another one shot video. As the title suggests, I focus on one shot and talk about why it's effective. The shots that I choose for this video series are not the spectacular kills, but the mundane and often visually unimpressive shots. The kind of shots that win matches, not just points. Today's shot comes from the Hong Kong Open 2022 tournament. It's the first game in a third round match between Zizis Kwan Lau and Paul Cole. Footage comes from the PSA's Squash TV free game Friday. The link to the whole game is in the text description. The shot I've chosen is one that I often use to help define a player's standard. Clearly, there's not one particular shot that can do that, which is why I said help. The shot I've chosen is the straight volley off a cross-court shot that hits the sidewall. Here are two examples of the shot. When the ball hits the sidewall, it changes speed, sometimes changes spin, and also rebounds at an angle. In general, that angle is known, but sometimes the rebound angle is hard to predict. That's why this shot can be difficult for club players to hit well. You can see that it's very similar to a serve that hits the sidewall, and we all know how awkward that can be. It's why many club players hit cross-court service returns. This shot is harder because, unlike a serve, you're not just standing there waiting for it. Your timing has to be almost perfect when you aim to hit the shot straight. Even a small error in angle or timing and the ball could land short or worse, come right back at you. I'll be creating a video in the near future to explain how to practice these shots and some tips to play them, but my objective with this video is to make you more aware of their importance. In general, the sooner you can hit the ball after it has rebounded from the sidewall, the better. That means any unexpected changes will have less time to cause you problems. Keep your swing short, controlled, and think of it more like a block than a proper swing. Aim high to ensure the shot returns deep and watch the ball hit your strings. Having to volley the ball instead of letting it bounce adds to the difficulty of the shot, but Letting the ball bounce only forces you closer to the back wall. Take the proactive approach and develop the discipline of volleying when you can. Long term, this approach will bring more rewards than short term hesitancy and doubt. The next time you watch advanced players or pros play, look out for how they seem to effortlessly hit the ball straight off the side wall. Yeah.